productive versus unproductive thoughts. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems and Not Your Partner. Now, this particular topic, the reason I want to cover it is because your thoughts are actually triggering the way you feel about yourself. And of course, you, got, you guys know uh, the steps that I talk about is we have thoughts. We put those thoughts together, we create a story, and then that story creates an emotion, and then we respond according to those emotions. So that's why we need to understand how important our thoughts are and understand this topic we're having here about unproductive versus productive. Because my thing is, I don't believe there's any such thing as an unproductive thought. Why do I say that? Because all thoughts produce an emotion. Let me repeat that. All thoughts produce an emotion. So that means there are no thoughts that are unproductive if they all produce an emotion. You guys follow me? What people are normally saying when they talk about unproductive, they're just saying the thoughts are things that may stop you in your track from going after what you want. Uh, thoughts that, um, you know, that you're not worthy, which we talk about. People will say those are unproductive thoughts because they're not going to generate the emotions and the feelings that you really want. But I want you to understand that they do produce and you want to understand that they produce because the fact is now you become more aware of the thoughts because you know that they're going to produce an emotion. And that emotion, again, the steps, thoughts, Create stories, create emotions, and then our actions. So if you understand all your thoughts do produce something, then we start to pay more attention to those thoughts. You guys follow? That's that's the reason for me I wanted to make clarity on that. Because like today, I had a conversation with a person and and they were telling me, sharing thoughts. You know, some, some things is going on about the things that are happening at their job and and how the owner is mistreating the employees and mistreating this person. And, and they've been there for a couple of years and they've been mistreated by this particular owner since the day they've been there and they've lasted for two years. So they're having these thoughts about the situation and about the ownership. And I'm the type of person, um, I think I've, I know I've shared this story before where a family member called me and was telling me that two of our family members, the mother and the kid were having some challenges and they wanted me to jump in and, um, and, and, and get them on the same page. And I was like, no, you don't want me to call because I'm not the person that the parent is going to want to talk to because I'm not going to have the conversation that they're going to be looking for. Cause see, I know me, I'm the person that's going to call and say, okay, like in this case, it's, I'm hearing a conversation sound like two little kids. Who's going to be the adult in this situation talking to the parent? I would have been having that conversation. And you know the parent would have probably been offended at the fact that I'm saying we got two kids going on. And one of y'all need to act like an adult. So that's not the conversation because I'm the type of person, my personality is, um, I look at for solutions. I don't spend a lot of time on um, the complaining because when it's all said and done, we still have to go find solutions. So my thing is more, okay, here's the issue. Um, that used to drive my wife crazy because, um, you know, you guys have heard the saying that 70, 80, I think it's 80 and 90% of all the thoughts that we, um, the things that we worry about never happen. And so I'm the type of person knowing that, why am I going to worry about stuff that's probably not going to happen? And the reason I said it used to drive her crazy is because she said, well, what if this happens? What? We'll deal with it when it happens. My thoughts is on producing the kind of results I want. Therefore, I'm not going to sit here 
and use thoughts that could take me down a path. Because again, all thoughts will produce an emotion. So I don't want to spend those thoughts down a path that's going to lead me to get the results that I don't want. So hopefully you guys understand why I'm feeling like this is a topic that we need to have because I'm saying you got to understand all the thoughts do produce. So watch where you're spending the time on your, what thoughts you're spending your time on because it's, what do they say, 70,000 thoughts a day that we have and about 90% of those are the same thoughts we had yesterday and people wonder why their life doesn't change. Because if 90% of your 70,000 thoughts are the same, whoo. And so the key is for us to recognize that because those thoughts are producing results and it's showing up in our lives. And we have to look and say, do I like the results that are showing up? And if not, I have to start coming up with some different thoughts because I understand if I change those thoughts, they will produce different stories, which will produce different feelings, which will produce different results. Did, I, did that make sense? Um, and that's the reason I wanted this to get clear as far as understanding they're all, they all produce. There's no such thing as an unproductive one because they're all going to give you a result. You just have to look at it and say, is it getting the result that I wanted? And so in this particular person's case, I was telling them, but you know how this person is. This is the same thing of repeating those 70,000 uh, thoughts and, um, and expecting things to change and be different. It's like, but you know this. This person's not looking to change. So you have to start to change your thoughts so that you start to do things differently. And that's where I was sharing with them kind of, you know, because of my personality that I'm like, okay, if you want to have those, those familiar thoughts, cool, do it quickly, get it done, because now it's time for us to change the thoughts so that we can start to produce some different stories and get some different results. So bottom line, my thing is, okay, now. What are you going to do from this point? Because we can talk about, you know, the owner and the, what they're doing. In the, we can talk about that for the next couple hours. They ain't going to change them because they're not trying to change. Not going to change your picture. All we're going to do for the next couple hours is complain. Same thoughts. Same thought process. You know what I mean? Stories. Which means we're going to feel the same way. Which is you sad, depressed, angry, and all which means you're going to continue to take the same action. No, what I want to do is redirect that and go, let's change the thoughts. What can I do at this moment to change my current situation? And then spend your energy down that path and find a solution. You know what happened? The person called me up. Uh, uh, what well, text me later today? That was earlier today, around who probably about four or five. Here it is, seven to eight. They text me talking about they're getting an ID badge from another company. They said, in other words, I, I'm I, I I got hired. I said, so you're gonna quit the other job? They said, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. All thoughts. You've been there for two years. Same thoughts. They were producing same stories, which were producing the same feelings, the same actions. But we interrupt those thoughts and said, huh, let's write a new story and produce a different uh, um, feelings. And guess what? Different results. So now, how does this tie into Self Love Monday? Because the same thoughts, here's an experiment that probably most people haven't done. Now, we talked about the mirror, get in the mirror and have the conversation with yourself. But I, what I want you to do is look in the mirror and I want you to spend some time. Really look at yourself. Look at the freckles. Look at the wrinkles. Um, you know, 
your nose, your mouth. I mean, with no judging, no labels, no comparing to what other people are saying, what beauty is and all. Forget all of that stuff. Spend some time in the mirror as if this is the first time, and for most of you it is going to be the first time, that you actually spend some time with the person in the mirror as long as you need to, to actually learn to care about that person. Just love every freckle. Love every wrinkle every scar, every little black mark or whatever's on the face, every little space in the tooth, because I'm not comparing it to anything or anyone. And just understand how unique it is to even be here on this, uh, to have this, this earthly walk. And really start to talk to that person and, and, let that person know how much you love them and how much you care. Folks, what I'm saying here, let's change the thoughts that you used to say when you looked in the mirror and you said, well, my nose is too big. And you want to know why you feel bad about yourself. Because those thoughts produce. And again, that's the whole purpose of this conversation. All thoughts do produce. No such thing as unproductive. They all produce. We just have to recognize what are they producing. And if you're sitting there and you're looking in the mirror and you're saying nothing but negative things about the person you see in the mirror, take a moment and recognize that came from comparing to the outside world and what the world has told you what beauty is. You have to learn to look in the mirror and love you some you. Everything about yourself. Now, folks, you guys know I've said that before. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to go if I don't like my weight. I'm not going to, I mean, not don't like my weight, but I want to be healthier. And so, therefore, I go to get in better shape. And for some people, that is going to be losing weight. For some people, that's going to be gaining weight. And for some people, it's going to be putting on muscle, which is gaining weight. So the key is getting healthier. What is the intent behind what you're doing? It. If you're doing it because you're comparing to someone else, or you're doing it because the world has told you this is what beauty is, quit listening to their thoughts and letting their thoughts produce uh, emotions in you that are taking you down a path that's not productive for you and acquiring the things that you want in your life. So anyway, do that exercise. I'm telling you guys now, if you do that, and, and matter of fact, each night when you're doing the, uh, the talk to the person in the mirror, do that and really have a conversation with the person. Because I know chances are pretty good you never had a real conversation, except maybe when you're little. When we're little, we get in the mirror and talk to ourselves. As adults, we forget that because we're so busy caught in uh, um, letting the world tell us what beauty is. We can't even look at ourselves. We just kind of dress real quick and we're out. Get to know you better and love you some you. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Um, I did want to... Uh, uh, Get that out today about the unproductive, productive thoughts. Work on that um, and understand all thoughts do produce. And um, just watch if you're getting the results that you want. Take the time to run over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. And you'll see all the things that I got going on. And more importantly, you guys, make sure you, you, you pay close attention to your thoughts. That could be your assignment for today. Is spend the whole day on your thoughts. What are this? What is this particular thought going to produce in my life? Is it going to take me down the path I want to go or is it going to get me off track? Because again, it ain't unproductive. It's going to produce a result. We just want to make sure we get those 70,000 thoughts, as many of those as possible, down the path to the, to the dreams and desires that we want. So again, as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Look forward to talking to you. For those of you Self Love Monday, I'll talk to you next Monday. And for those of you Relationship Thursday, I will see you on Thursday. Take care and enjoy the journey. Bye-bye.